This guide shows you how to reinstall or install Windows 7 games on Windows 10. This is handy if you've installed the anniversary edition of Windows 10 and your games have stopped working. First of all, we need to remove the games from the computer if you've got them installed already. If you haven't got the games installed on your computer, then you can ignore this section. First of all, we hold down with our left hand, or left, a finger on our left hand, the Windows key. The Windows key is located between the CTRL key and ALT key on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard. Now, with a finger on your right hand, tap the letter R, R for Romeo. You'll notice a run box will now appear. Delete out whatever's in the run box and type A for Apple, P for Papa, P for Papa, W for Whiskey, I for Indigo, Z for Zebra, full stop, C for Charlie, P for Papa, L for Lima. And we should have in the open box appwiz.cpl. Then we click OK. That's a left click on OK. We should see the program and features box appear. Now, in here, this is um, listed all the programs, so we need to find Microsoft Games for Windows 8. So find that now, and once we've found it, left click once on Microsoft Games for Windows 8. Now yours might have an X64 beside it, or an X32, or nothing at all. But uh, as long as it says Microsoft Games for Windows 8, left click it once now. Then we move our mouse up to install, up the top here, and left click uninstall. It will say, are you sure you want to uninstall Microsoft Games for Windows 8? And then it may say X64 after it, or X32. If this comes up, left click once on yes. The screen will darken, it will say, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes from your PC? Now, this box will only appear if you've got user access control turned on. If it doesn't, don't worry. But if it does, left click yes once now. It will now start to remove the Microsoft games from computer. Okay, now that's finished. Next thing we need to do, and this is very, very important, we need to restart Windows. So move your mouse down to the um, Windows start flag. Right click the start flag, that's the right mouse button. Move your mouse up to shut down or sign out. And then left click restart. Your computer will restart. Once it's restarted, come back to this guide. Okay, so once your computer's restarted, we need to open either Edge or Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, whatever you've got on your computer, and we need to basically download um, the new version of um, the Windows 7 games. So find on the uh, YouTube page, on this, this YouTube page, the uh, link here which is starts http winero.com if you can't see it then you might see underneath the description of this video there's a show more button left click the show more button okay so we now left click on the line on the link that says http winero.com it will open up this page okay and we need to left click on the download Windows 7 games for Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Make sure that um, it's under the or, or beside the, uh, uh, the, the words get the zip file archive with games from the following link. Uh, don't click on any of these other links. There's a lot of adverts on this page which could get you into trouble. So don't start clicking on get Google Chrome or click here to fix Windows errors only click on the word download Windows 7 games for Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 in this area just here. So we left click that now. It will then take us to another page and again there's more adverts on this page so please be careful. Only click on what I tell you to click on here and that is just here where it says download Windows 7 games for Windows 10. Only left click that once now. 
if you've got Windows, um, if, you're, if you're using uh, Microsoft Edge, it should start automatically downloading at the bottom here, as you can see. So it tells you a percentage of Win games, um, 4 Win, 10, 8, 8, 1, V2, Win Aero, underscore 1191, zip downloaded from winaero.com, and it tells you how many seconds are remaining. If you're using Internet Explorer, then when you click on download Windows 7 games for Windows 10, you'll get this following box at the bottom saying, do you want to open or save Win 7 games for Win 10 8, 8.1 version 2? So we just click save there and that starts downloading. If you're using Google Chrome, then when you click on download Windows 7 games for Windows 10, you will get this at the bottom of the screen. And uh, it will tell you here, win seven games for win 10 8 dot 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 zip. And it will tell you again how long it's got left to download. And finally, if you're using Firefox, when you download, download, uh, when you click download win seven games for Windows 10, you will see Possibly a box that says, do you want to open with or save file? So we select save file and click OK. And up here it will tell you how long it's got left before it's finished downloading. Now, once it's downloading, uh, once it's downloaded, sorry, should I say, um, uh, if you're using Edge, it will tell you here that it's finished downloading. And all we do is we just left click open. The same applies if you're using Internet Explorer, just left click open. If you're using Google Chrome, when the time disappears, the time remaining disappears, just left click on the title Win 7 Games for Win 10. And if you're using Firefox, you should see an arrow at the top of the screen here which becomes blue. Left click once on that arrow there. Find the Win 7 games for Win 10 underscore 8 underscore 81 version 2 underscore winero.com and then there'll be a number after that. And just click on the little, f uh, well, actually click on the, on, on the title there and that opens up. And this is where you'll be at for every browser, doesn't matter what browser you, you're using, but once you've opened the file, this is the screen you'll see. So we double click Win 7 Games for Windows 10, just here, um, and, and 8. So double left click this. Okay, it'll ask us, um, this application may depend on other compressed files in the folder for the application to run properly. It is recommended that you first extract the files. So if we click Extract All, that's left click. And we just click Extract down the bottom here. The file's now been extracted from the zip file. And then once again, we double left click Windows 7 games for Windows 10 and 8. That's double left click. The screen now darkens and says, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes from the PC? Left click, yes. Select the language that you want to install in. I'm just selecting English. So then left click, OK. We then left click next. We can select which games we don't want to install by unticking the boxes to the left of them. I'm gonna be greedy, I'm gonna install them all. So just left click install. It now starts uh, installing. And um, we've got an option here to discover WinAero Tweaker Tune-Up for Windows uh, 10 8.1. I'm going to untick that box. So left click the box beside there. It's up to you whether you tick it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what it is. So I would recommend not ticking it. Um, so untick it. And then we left click finish. Then we need to find the games that we've just installed. So let's just close down these uh, windows that are open here. So... Uh, I'm just going to click on the cross just here and then click on the cross just there 
I'm gonna keep clicking on these crosses. I've got a few windows open here, so I'm just gonna close them down so we're back to the desktop. If it ever says, do you wanna close all tabs, say yes, close all. Move our mouse down to the start button just down here. Left click the start button once. Move the mouse up to all apps. Left click all apps once. And then find games. There it is, just games there. And left click games. And there we have it, all of our games down there. And uh, we can open up any one of these games by left clicking on the game itself. And uh, it should open on screen. There we go, there's Solitaire. Hope this guide helps.